Hey, this is Tyler from SpectraCal, now part of Portrait Displays. In this video, I'm going to show you how to manually calibrate using the OSD controls an Azo Prominence HDR display, the CG3145. I'm going to be using our HDR10 calibration workflow, a Video Forge Pro pattern generator, and the C6 meter. So I've already opened our HDR10 workflow. I'm going to go to next. The ASO has LED PFS phosphor type LEDs. We are going to be adding a specific ASO 3145 prominence meter mode in a future release of CalMan. So if you have that available when you're watching this video, select that one instead. We're going to be using 10% area windows and CalMan is in limited range. You want to make sure that in the ASO menus, its range is set to limited. This is going to be our targets. If you would like to use a custom white point because you've perceptually matched it to another display or something like that, then you could enter those right here. I'm going to do our pre-calibration reading and this will show you what the accuracy is like out of the box. The sample we have from Azo, I am not sure if it's a full retail one, so the accuracy might be different um, on a full retail device. This is a development version. Okay, next, we're going to actually do the two-point white balance, and this monitor actually only has gain control, so we're actually only going to measure at 940. So I'm going to do a read series. It's telling us there's too much blue, too much green. So I'm going to go into the menu system of the display. I'm going to go to color, then to advanced settings, then down to the submenu called gain, and then it will give me the RGB individual controls. So since this is LCD based, we don't have to worry about burn in or anything like that. So I'm just going to do a continuous read, thousand nits, very bright. We're only using a 10% window though. So I'm going to start bringing the blue control down in real time as you can see it's scaling we're going to bring it down to meet the red all right so i'm bringing the green back down to meet the other two overshot it going back up Okay, so I'm going to go back to the blue and bring that down one more notch. Okay, now I'm going to hit stop. So what my controls came out to, my gain controls, they came out to, and this will most likely be different on every monitor, but mine red is at 100%, green is at 94, and blue is at 90. Okay, now we're going to verify our full grayscale. I'm going to hit read series. So we're checking PQ tracking here. Okay, so as you can see, there's almost no error. There's a slight, the highest error we have is 0.8 delta E. Peak luminance, 982 nits. CMS calibration. If there is a six axis CMS, but based on my testing, we shouldn't need it at all. Okay, so I'm going to do the color checker.
Okay, and then we can do the P3 sweeps inside of 2020. Now the picture mode we're actually calibrating is the one called PQ Rec 2100. So that means it's a PQ curve, BT2020 colors, and D65 white point. Okay, and now we can do our post calibration view. If we wanted to do, use our fancy new uh, professional HDR report. Okay, so now if I go up here and go to Open Report Template, HDR Professional Report, Generate Report, it'll show our before, pre-calibration, post-calibration, and we could export that to a PDF if we wanted to. That's how you manually calibrate an AZO CG3145 Prominence HDR Reference Monitor in HDR mode. Thank you for watching the video and don't forget subscribe to our channel.